Ebony's creativity. Here's the next piece that we're going to be working on together. I've already taken the drawers out, but here is a clip of what this looks like. Um, it's pretty much good to go, but it is damaged on the top. Um, I took the drawers out, but they are in the house because I'm about to go in and paint because it's hot as Hades outside. So my plan for this is um, I think I'm going to leave it white. I am going to remove this trim and that trim on the bottom because both of them are broken. This one is broken right here. That one is broken. And this should be a really quick flip. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with sanding and removing that trim. And just in case you're wondering, here are the drawers. I'm going to have to change the pulls because one pull is missing, so I will get to that, but otherwise, they are in pretty much perfect condition. There's a little area right there on the corner, but I can take care of that with some sandpaper by hand. This is going to be a really easy flip, so thank God for that because we have had some struggles. Here's what that looks like without that trim. I like it better already. I am going to have to figure out how to cut the nails off. And here is what the top looks like all sanded. And what I'm going to do now. Is add a quick coat. Of my new favorite thing band primer to the top of this okay so I got the nails out but you can see where the holes were or needs to be sealed so I have my wood filler some of them that's what I use to get the holes out the camera and just grab them so I'm hoping my gouged a little bit. Of course, this is not solid wood, but I can still fill it with wood filler and sand it down. And that's what I'm going to do next. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a coat of the bin over the whole thing. layer of bin is done. I'm going to do a layer of bin where I remove the trim. I also sanded the holes. So this is all clean now. And I'm going to go ahead and apply bin all over. And then I will apply the paint. Also, I applied some spray paint to these and if you recognize these, 
is because you watched the video with the stinky dresser and so I'm using those on this flip I think this is going to be perfect for a little girl's room so these are kind of girly they have like a little flower or some kind of pretty little motif on them so that'll be cute for somebody's little girl I'm not in love with this color so I may go in when they dry with some gold and kind of do a silver and gold effect on them on the raised area put a little gold so that's my plan for now we shall see if that changes this is the color that I use Oh, brushed nickel. But on the top, it looks more gold. I don't know, but I don't like it. So either I'll spray over these or just add a little bit of gold to them. Not sure yet. Next, I'm taking this Dollar Tree paint marker and I'm going to just go over the raised area slightly just to add a little bit of color into this drill pool. What I did here was to find the center between the two pre-existing holes on the drawer and I made a dot with a pencil and then I found out how far apart the holes on the new jar pulls were and in this instance they were three inches apart so since I have my center mark I just went 1.5 inches to the left and 1.5 inches to the right and made a mark. Alright, so I have sanded these down. My holes are nice and smooth. And now I'm going to go over these areas with the bin primer. And next I'm going to paint. So I will show you what that looks like when I am done. Okay, so at this point, everything has had a coat of paint. And now we are just waiting on it to dry because it is still wet as you can probably see. Maybe not, I don't know. But here's the side too. Yeah, you can tell here that they're still wet, so. Gonna give that about an hour and a half to try. Then I am going to reassemble everything and come back and show you the final result.
If you have the time, please select another video to watch from the choices on the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.